the WCC Coach of the Year this year. Still no score between these two teams. That's a beautiful pass. And another, that's a beautiful shot. Colin Moore for free. Barcelona's. Boy, that looks right, right like his pops, that move. That's <laughs> indeed. Good ball movement there. Good Sharing it, working pass. it around the forms for the bucket. And Manny tries to cross it over. He's in trouble. Double team coming. Barcelona's inside and again finishes with that left hand. Boy, the toughness, though, I mean, just on display. The glove there. In and out. Battling for it. Look at loose ball. Blackshear Jr. will play right from the baseline and hit. Now, he used the same doctor as Keontae Johnson, who we remember had a, a similar collapsing scare. And so they trusted the doctor's orders for that. There's an and one. Back the other way, Saxon gets it. This pressure is to drive the basketball. Tyon Grant Foster looking to heat up Marshall Lonis and Marshall Lonis, war caps it out. Another turnover, Harrison on the move with a right-handed slam. Well, they all have they all come to the ball, whoever has it. 13 to 9. Saxon gets the end one. Oh, he comes out of this, as you can see, big time, but look at the explosion. I love it. He's not a big time athlete, but that's a beautiful play by him to set a screen. Still scoreless with about halfway through the first half. Dukas, high off the glass. The putback is there for Saxon. Always pursuing the basketball. You better have that extra defender crack it down on Saxon. He gave himself like three possessions on one, or three opportunities on one. Oh! Look at this, Robbie. I mean, with the right hand. Yeah, I mean, he's back. Look at that explosion to the rim. And Ross takes it inside to try to silence this crowd. You're trying to get some time for Marshall Lonis on the bench. What can Jordan Ross give you? Oh, that little shoulder shove by Mason Forbes. A very physical affair. Forbes is on pace, you can see why, to break the, the school record for field goal percentage above 70%. And there's the number! Slam jam! Thank you, man! Here we go, down the middle. What a game! One point game, we'll be right back. At the roof right now, the energy is off the chain, Robbie. Sign us up for more. We got 30 more minutes of this. There's Ross. And almost it feels like every every play they've made is a big part of it. There's some quick hands by Grant Foster. Chases it down and throws it down. Read the eyes there of Alex Dukas. Kind of a telegraph pass. He, he jumped it to that right side. and So with about five and a half to play here in the first half, Marshall is back in. Trying to find Saxon. The two-player game between those two. Saxon will get another look. Mahaney from up top. There it is. His first points and first three-pointer. Certainly forcing turnovers is one way, and that's been something that Grand Canyon has done effectively, but on missed shots with these athletes run the wing and get going. Grant Foster fades away. He's got seven points. Harrison working it in the paint. Live play. way up there look at this first one right here Robbie and no one's there and yes that's an easy play Saxon the conference defensive player of the year Mahaney tried to look it off to Saxon the turnover and St. Mary's has committed eight of them good play by Colin Moore to stay in that play he took the switch on and ended up turning him over Grant Foster he can get up. He's got a soft touch, though, too. He's got nine points. St. Mary's on the season. They average 10. They've got eight in the first half. The tip out as Ross tries to chase it down, and he does it into the hands of Harrison. Harrison, some transition oh. opportunity. Oh. Right off the glass. About a four-second differential game and shot clock. Barrett, one triple pull up and fires and hits. From half court, the heave off the glass. 
between a team right now that can knock down three threes in his half. We'll get some light. Oh, there's one. There's one. From the second that left his hand, you could tell that was off line. <laughs> Tough shooting night, one for nine. Trying to go off the bounce, this time he'll go left side and gets his second field goal of the night. Jump hook, jump hook, had about five moves and one counter. Mahaney again steps it back, now he's got a rhythm, he's gone back to back. Thanks, Lisa. I, I believe you, Steve. Harrison. Coming out of that timeout, the tip. The ball for going to work again. The flying ropes defensively. I think that had to be a foul or a travel. It was neither. No spacing right now. Great cross and a three. Quick crossover. Hey. Samson gets blocked. Because Elaine with those three personal fouls. On the out of bounds, Grant Foster looking down on the rim on that one. Alex trying to make sure he goes the other way, but then there's nothing you can do with that quickness. And look, he just dropped that one in. So they're going to have to get it done on this end defensively. St. Mary's. Barcelonis and Harrison just spins right off of him like he's not there. Field goal, I should say. Four points here in the game. Barrett, crossover. Mahaney gets a look. Whoa! Whoa. Robbie Hummel, did you see that rebound? <laughs> look at this, dude. Did you see that pass? Grant Foster with the dime to Harrison. There you what are you talking about, Lisa? <laughs> Harrison has the last six points for Grant Cameron. Mahaney drops it up. Forbes takes the contact. Saxon with a quick kick out. Marshall Lundis gives it a try, knocks it down. Boy, St. Mary's needed that. He's got 10. Mahaney using the screen. Barely hitting the rim. Wow. Oh, look at what I found. The Gales making some plays here. Green Canyon trying to protect his 10 point lead. How about Ward again? That time it rattles home from distance. No fear at all from Luke Ward. <laughs> Marcellonis leaves it for Saxon. Give space for this guy, oh, Greg Foster. He didn't know what he wanted to do with it midair. But Haney and oh, coming over, it's War with the swat. My question is, how was Luke War not playing at Oregon last year? <laughs> he is making plays, a little backdoor, drop it off, and let the big fella go finish that one at the rim. Saxon. With four to shoot. <laughs> Every single part of the win for Dukas. The dance is on. <laughs> it results in a two for St. Mary's. 14 points for Saxon. <laughs> Here goes Grant Foster into traffic. Marcellonis looks it off Mahaney. That backcourt connecting for a big. St. Mary's. Great shooter. But in transition has been where St. Mary's been able to find some open looks. Aiden Mahaney finally get one to go. Just 4 of 17. Nowhere to go right now. They can't get any penetration. Marcellonis has it in his hands. Gets it out. It's a three-point try. Big shot. Barrett. Luke Barrett. A 15 to shoot Mahaney. Another big three, 13 points. All right now you got to play the percentages. When you're up by nine on that play, you can't give up easy threes. Harrison, that's a long two, just inside the three-point line. Haney, nowhere to go. Gives it up to Perry. Blocked. Perry giving it up to Fort Mason Forbes for the dunk. 
Seven to shoot, quick spin. Harris and beat him. There's your preseason player of the year. Down on the block, take your time. Then just use your athleticism and strength over the smaller guards. I loved it. Nothing there. I become a post player. That's good basketball. They have the size, and you can see there's another block shot. It's Grant Foster with a big one. We are to press in with basketball. Right down. You can't lose his mind, though. Run that clock, and nope. <laughs> that is just, I don't know what. Barcelona's quick crossover. Gives it up, a three-point luck. And time. Andy Bennett going deep into his bench here in the final few seconds. Marcelona's still in. Looking for one last bucket. Barrett has been a nice addition off the bench here for them tonight. Final few seconds in this one. Mahaney pulls the trigger. Not there. We've got another 12-5 upset, and the wait is over. Grand Canyon has its first NCAA tournament win in school history.